Well, what a fight we've just witnessed here in the co-main event at UFC 272 in Las Vegas with this, this man, Rafael Dos Anjos, defeating his countryman, Renato Moicano. Rafael, that was a brutal contest. How was it out there? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy Moicano, you know, stepping in within four, I think five days notice. It's pretty hard for me because I was training for a striker, shorter guy, and, you know, took, took Moicano. He's a tall, linky guy, good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Good jab, long, and was was hard for me to, to make that adjustment, but uh, thank you God everything went well. The big uh, leg kick, head kick in the third round, and then it just it was a brutal fight from that point onwards, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I caught him uh, with that. I always do that cross with the high kick, and I caught him really good. But man, he the, the man took the punish, and uh, I did my best there to finish. I thought he gonna he, he would give up, but he didn't. And so props to him. How difficult is a fight like that? Because you got a, an opponent on the rope, so to speak, but he just keeps hanging in there. Yeah, it's pretty hard, man. Especially you know I didn't didn't know knew much about it about him. Uh, you know I watched a couple of his fights, and uh, he never fought any southpaw. And for me, it was hard to study him. We were like training for a guy for eight weeks and all of a sudden a different guy jumped in. It was pretty hard to make that, that adjustment, but you know, he's a really tough guy. Who would you like to fight next, Rafael? Yeah, man, you know, I'm a former champion, former lightweight champion. I fought for the belt already on Walter Wade. I've been on UFC for so many years. Uh, I would like to fight somebody that, you know, gave me like, you know, pressure to go to the gym and work hard. You know, some good names like, you know, a lot of people say that I'm a BMF, you know, mm -hmm. because I fought every one of the div in two divisions. So that would be good to take Masvidal on that division. Um, I will, I'll go up, no problem. Uh, maybe Connors, Connor too, if he want to come back when he's coming back on summer, uh, that will be our option too. But I have my eyes on the title too. So let's see how everything plays out. A former UFC lightweight champion. Have you got another belt in you? Oh yeah, you know I'm ready to go. I move up to move to Brazil again, uh, training hard over there. You know I feel in, you know in good shape. Like it just I felt like a little bit of ring rust, 16 months out. But you know I'm, I think I'm on a good track right now. Now Rafael, final question. We're hopeful of getting a UFC pay per view in Australia later in the year. How much would you love to fight down under? I would love to. I've never been a trailer. You've never been? I've never been a trailer. Where that, would, now, Rafael, where would you like to go? Would you like to go to Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth? Uh, man, I think uh, Sydney, yeah. you know, like, uh, also like the countryside too, you know, like a lot of off-road, I know that. I've you like it. the outback? Yeah, I love the outback, you know, you know, driving and do some off-roading, camping. I know the Australian do that a lot. You guys have a lot of land to do that. I would love to, you know, fight, make, maybe spend uh, like a month over there. That'd be great. We'd love to have you. Congratulations on the victory and looking forward to welcoming you down under. Thank you.